Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. And uh, while Sparks might still be here accompanying us, we are now controlling Sheila the Kangaroo instead of Spyro the Dragon. And yes, this guy has been doing this literally the entire time. I don't think he's going to stop. Okay, I don't actually need to kill him since I'm at full health. Follow Bobby and Pete up there using your air hop. It's easy. Just press the jump button again at the top of your jump. Oh, sure, a double jump. I got that. Wait, why do you have a bunny tail? Okay, I admit I cannot currently picture what a goat's tail looks like, but I don't know that it looks like that. Oh, I wonder... Huh. Female kangaroos should have a pouch out front. That was actually just the air jump. I accidentally walked off the edge. How high can we go? Let's see. Yeah. Oh my. Sure. Bobby and Pete up there using your air hop. It's easy. Just press the jump Oh, it's the same line, sure. I just thought he would say something different, because we're up here. Um... What's in the accents? I mean, Sheila, I get. Oh! Oh my. Turns out something happens if you push the button the moment you touch the ground. Yeah, that does not surprise me. Oh. You can get up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the jump button, then press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do a double jump. Once you've mastered it, you can go anywhere you want. Hmm. Huh. they doing that anyway ah home at last here i was saving this to make an omelet but i think you deserve it more uh does sheila know to send them back to the dragon worlds or how well welcome to the world ruby how did they know what color her eyes were going to be I do like his enthusiasm. I mean, you can probably guess what, uh... You know, color the scales are gonna be by the parentage, but... They named that one Ruby, and it was gonna have white scales! Oh well, fuck, I don't know, maybe the dragons have crazy magic or something. Fuck. Oh, that works. That'll be the one. Oh, I can't actually... Means you can't stand on top of those. You can only, uh, bounce off. Oh, I see. The way that, you know, I didn't realize at first that he was saying the same line again. You know, with the double, the, sorry, the air hop. So when he said, you know, it's very easy, you know, the, uh, in exactly the same intonation, it immediately reminded of that guy who does all of the, I think it's TikTok videos, of uh, all of his ridiculous inventions, all of which are described as having a very human design, and all of which are described as being very easy to use. But then it's things like a bed which rises up to a 90 degree angle in order to wake you up when your alarm goes off. 
other stuff you would never actually want to use. Last time we tried to get past this moose, he knocked Billy clean through a wall. If you don't mind, we'll just hang out here while you give him a good kicking. I mean, I don't blame you. Moose are not something to fuck around with. Mind you, they're a lot bigger than that in real life. Last time we tried to get past this moose, he knocked Billy clean through a wall. If you don't mind, we'll just hang out here while you give him a good kicking. Trying to remember what one earring on the right side means, but it's been a while. Oh, oh what will I do? However, will I... Is it wearing... It... Is it wearing a Canadian flag? <laughs> oh no, you're stuck in the wall! Whatever will you do? If I just lean the stick forward and then let go, she starts to jump and then doesn't. That's kind of funny to me. So, you know, Sparks, I am glad to still have your company, but aren't you, like, Spyro's, like, Sworn guardian or something. Don't worry, I'll just keep kicking this rock until it breaks. Hey Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Goats are weird, man. <laughs> Welcome, Jenny! I'm not even going to question the glasses. Because I've already questioned a bunch of bows, and it's going to sound old if I do that every single time. Satisfying. Is there a thing here? No! I think you need to find the models on those things, because I kind of need to know if that's just a patch on the back, or if there's a Canadian maple leaf there. Because of course it's a fucking moose. If it wasn't going to be a moose, it was going to be a beaver. Those Rhinox have taken over. There'll be no stopping them unless we can smash their huts. They're too big to smash with your kick attack, though. Try using your stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse the Rhinox with taunts while you stomp their huts. Okay? All right, now we're just chasing people off the fucking mountain. You remember how to stomp, don't you? Just jump, then press the action button in the air. All right. Just a thought, if they didn't actually want to draw a, uh... Sorry, just trying to remember what the thing is called. Uh, I didn't actually want to draw a pouch on, uh, Sheila here. I would have given her a fanny pack as a joke. Yes, it's not the 90s anymore, so it took me a minute to remember what a fanny pack is called. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. No. I mean, I do appreciate them at least wearing lederhosen when they move to the hills. Dressed like the guy from the fucking Ricola commercial. I have to admit, I'm not sure what the blue-footed boobies are doing here. Yes, that is what I believe they are actually called. Because they're seabirds. There's not much else to say about that. They're not supposed to be here at all. Oh, bastard! Oh well. Sorry guys, I didn't beat this game without getting hit. Well, that does mean that this uh, fodder has to die. Yes, if you've forgotten, Sparks goes from yellow to blue to green, and then he just straight up disappears. Ow! 
No, I think that's just a... Oh, it's his hump poking through. That's disappointing. Even as, you know, even as jokes, my country rarely gets shoutouts. He looked offended when he fell. Sorry about that. Now, this was a PlayStation 1 game, so my incredible psychic powers tell me that I am not going to be able to switch to Sheila at will when I get back to being Spyro. But it's still an interesting uh, experience being someone else. If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select controls. I mean, that's even more fourth wall -y than usual, but... Okay, you're gone. Ah, well, you see, it isn't actually there. You have to go to Options, then Controls. Huh. It's not exactly like the one I have. Although, I guess... Yeah, that, that, I think that's uh, an X-Bone controller, and what I've got is... Uh, well, they just call it an Xbox controller because they're, you know, leaning into the uh, whole unified systems thing, so... They're just saying Xbox controller, because you can plug it into an X-Bone, a PC, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I think pretty sure this is for the, uh, originally meant for the, uh, Xbox Sex. And yes, I know, but I'm not the one that named it the Xbox Series S slash X. So whether you're shortening series and then adding the end on the S, uh, the X on the end, or whether you're referring to the S slash X part, you pretty much have to call this thing the Xbox Sex. I say this thing, I don't have one, and I'm playing on PC. Let me guess, it's an egg. Thanks for the help, Sheila. Ooh, you can have this egg I found in my house. Good to meet you, Nan. Welcome to the world. Ah. Hmm. Oh, I did miss a jam over there. And up there. Right, sorry. Nope, you can't glide. I'm just checking. What am I doing on that? Oops. Well, that's weird. <laughs> can't help but notice there's no actual room for a house in there. Oh. Okay, I don't know that I was actually meant to be able to... No, there's no other way in here. I was supposed to do that. Sure! Hot damn! Dim thighs. <laughs> it is true that kangaroos are entirely capable of kicking your ass. The Australians actually used to, uh hold kangaroo boxing matches where a human straight up tries to beat the shit out of a kangaroo and usually loses. Because that trick where she leaned back on her tail and does that, they do that for real and it will fuck you up. Either this isn't very deep or she cannot dive. I don't know if kangaroos uh, care about water or can swim. How the fuck am I meant to get up there? Or the same way I got up the other one, but... Knock, knock! Go lick a car, you shit piece. Oh, that's gonna need some exploitation if you're not from around here. 
Uh, short answer, moose go fucking crazy for salt. In the winter, uh, we put salt on the roads to melt the ice. The salt gets kicked up by the tires, sprays all over the, uh... What? Sprays all over the cars because it's kicked up by the, uh, tires. Which leads to Moose realizing that cars are covered in ah. in uh, salt and walking up while they're stopping to lick them. This is bad, both because Moose weigh, like, a ton. Really, actually, around there. And, uh... You know, you don't want a really, really big animal hanging out near you in general. But also because it teaches them that it's cool to be near cars. So every year, uh, it usually goes appears out of context on a uh, foreign uh, website somewhere of uh, people being baffled over the sign "Do not let moose lick your car." You're encouraged to honk the horn and s try and scare them off. Dang it! Hmm. There's nothing down there, friend. Okay. Oh, wait, I can probably just... Nah. I'll have to get back out that way again. That direction, but not near here, sure. It is a bit weird that the first level I'm going to uh, get that on is one where I'm someone else. There you are, you little devil! Booyah! Well, thank you, Sheila. I'm sure Spyro will be very helpful. I mean, very helpful? No, be very, uh, thankful. Except for the part where you made off with his, uh, friend for some reason. But that's really more on, uh, Sparks than it is on you. Off we go, then. Well, that's not awkward at all. Although, again, it was a PlayStation game. Sunrise Spring. I wonder if that's a callback to the, uh, the second game. Okay. It's the cultist. <laughs> Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Oh, thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. <laughs> Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say, <laughs> is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? I mean, she's kind of cute in general, which really undercuts the whole villain thing. And kind of makes me assume that uh, she's getting a uh, heel face turn at some point, to be completely honest. Because, let's face it, this ga these games do not have uh, much by the way of depth. I don't mean that as a negative thing, you know, children's game that came out in 19... and in, in, Well, in this one, the year 2000. But, uh... I just mean that, uh... Well, you know, you meet a character in this game and you instantly have a, have a full read on them, you know? You know, the leaders of the levels are sort of generically worried about their people. Uh, 
And, uh... I don't know, I just distracted myself noticing the uh, one-up off in the distance. Oh, I was about to head in there, but the timer has just now gone. So maybe I can try to get that instead. So, Sparks, you're about the last person I ever expected to say this to, but we might need to have a talk about you gallivanting off of strange women. <laughs> We've got a mission here. Someone's kidnapped all those kids. Eggnapped. So, uh, yes, we have work to do. But it will have to wait for the next episode of Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon Reignited. When we find out if, uh... I was completely out to... I was, you know, reading too much into it and being out to lunch because, you know, Bianca isn't an uggo and has a nice giggle. It just doesn't seem like a villain, you know? That's what I'm thinking. But, uh, yes... I will see you next time, guys. Later.